Hey guys, it's Mike the Scrapper. I got some questions about heat sinks. Now, I have some heat sinks here that I've gotten out of TVs and computers, and I just want to go through them with you. This is a regular heat sink. You find this in uh, sometimes big TV screens, those uh, projection TVs. This is where this came from. Unscrew that, put this with your steel pile. You got your nice piece of uh, clean aluminum. It's another heat sink. These are pretty heavy. This came from a computer. Again, clean piece of aluminum. Another heat sink, but this one is different. Turn it around, there's copper. I was able to hit it with a small chisel, this small chisel right here, and hit it on the sides, and it was able to pop right off. So now, I have a nice heavy piece of copper, number two copper, and a regular heat sink. That's gonna go with my aluminum pile. This is a weird looking heat sink. This came from a computer. Now, there's it's copper coated on the top, but these are actually aluminum. All the way through, inside here, you're gonna see there's aluminum rods. It's not really worth taking these apart, but if you are interested in taking them apart, all you have to do is get a pair of pliers and just pull them apart. It's a little time consuming and it's not really worth your time to take these apart but pretty much that's it and you can just go on and on and on it's not really worth doing it so I this these I would leave them alone just sell them as is the if you watch my video on uh, computer stuff you'll see it's I think it's called selling computer stuff you'll see that he said sell this as you can sell this as number two copper and if you don't get number two copper then you're getting robbed so again, here is another piece from a computer, regular clean aluminum, sell it with your aluminum pile. Now we're getting to some weird looking ones. This is aluminum and copper. I'll show you how to take this one apart in a second. This one here, again with the fins, this one came from a laptop computer and this is where the CPU chip was. If you ever watched that video on the laptop computer, this is where that came from. And again, it's the same thing, just take them right off. You can probably do it by hand. This might come off by hand, but I would wear gloves when you're doing something like this because these are, these are sharp and you can cut your finger. And as you can see, it is a little time consuming, but this one definitely I would do it because this one does have some weight to it. And you can get some, uh, some nice money for this. This one doesn't look like, okay, there it is. And take them off, no problem. <clears throat> this one is an interesting one. This is, again, copper, aluminum, and these little babies were on here like this. They were on there like that. I'll show you. They're backwards, but you get the idea. They were on like this. And what I did was I took my chisel and I chiseled it on the side here all the way down. And I was able to pop them right off. So now this is number two copper. You put this with your number two, and this is really heavy. And this one here, if you want to, I would drill holes and maybe see if you can pop it out. I tried popping it out without drilling the holes, but it looks like it's, it's uh, a little difficult. If you have the time, do it. Me, I'm just gonna sell this as is. I'm just gonna see if I can get number two copper for this. If not, I'll just, you know, maybe drill the holes or maybe bend these and break them right off. And let's see what I can get for that. Now, back to this little baby right here. This is a very interesting piece and it wasn't hard for me to take out. I had a second one that I was trying and this is what I got from that one. This is the piece right here. And these are the pieces of aluminum I got out of it with that one. Now, give me a second here. All I did was as you can see these pieces here, that's aluminum. I was able to bend them. Bend that one like that. That's it. That piece comes right off real easy. Now the other part was a little harder to take this part off, just a little bit harder. Um, I'm gonna try with these pliers here and see if I can get it out the way I did the first time. All I did was, was pull pressure on here and this one's not gonna come off that way. 
So I'll use another pair of pliers. Or you can just put this in a vise and um, pull pressure on it. Now this one's embarrassing me because now this one doesn't want to come out. But it came out before. There you go. Okay. So you can see there, it's, they're going to get loose. There it is. There's your piece of aluminum. And let's see if it does it again on this one. Now this one might need, oh look at that, okay. Thought it may, might need a little more persuasion, like maybe a hammer. And that's it. Okay, now the other pieces should just fall right off. And let's see if I can get this piece off. There you go, it's out. That's it. Now you have a nice piece of number two copper with no aluminum on it, and you can sell this. This is pretty heavy. And that's it for the heat sinks. So if you found this video to be educational on heat sinks and knowing how to remove the copper from the aluminum, please kick that little like button there that you see on the bottom. Just click it. And that I that way I would know that you enjoyed this video. Check out the DVD. I have it on uh, my channel. You can see it says uh, something scrapping DVD, something like that. You'll see it there. And uh, I'm getting a lot of reviews on it, and a lot of people are liking the DVD. It's amazing, because I was pretty scared. I didn't think anybody would like it. But um, there's a lot of information on there that is going to help you, you know, get more scrap and get a lot of these computers and stuff. Um, Till then, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Peace!